Well, cement truck arrived. We have two coming. I'm not sure if the cubic meters involved in it. And so that's 14,000. We're doing an area that's oh, not, not 100 square meters, but it's getting pretty close. Building is nine by nine. We've got mesh and yeah, it's pretty well sort of boarded. I'm going to go two inches down and two inches up and I'll get them to lift the mesh up into the cement when it's um when they've got it and they're moving it out make sure it's about the middle of the mix and we're getting ready to to pour first one of two Had a phone call to say that they'd be on their way shortly, so the guys quickly down tools on what they were doing and had some lunch, a bit of crib, and then got themselves back over here to make sure that uh, they were ready to accept it and uh, they're ready to get into it. So you can't mess around with cement. You've got to pour it and move it and get it um, get it level and, and where you want it as soon as it starts to pour it's going off you get the cement in there first um, people will say, oh, you shouldn't have the mesh on the bottom. That's how you work with it. You can't walk on it when it's suspended two inches off the ground. So the normal method from experienced cementers, concreters, is that you lay the mesh on the prepared surface. You will pull the cement over it and get the approximate level that you want. And then you will use like a J-hook you'll reach down through the cement, you'll hook the wire and you'll lift it up to the midpoint in the cement. And experienced guys can do that quite well. If you're pouring a four inch pad, they know to lift it two inches and they've got a good feel for what two inches is. So, um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> always some debate and there's always people with ongoing sort of rebuttals and ah oh, but, ah oh, but, ah oh, but I didn't see this, I didn't see that or that's not quite right it is my father was into concrete and cement spent a big part of his life doing it building nickel bins for mining concerns and all sorts of things <laughs> saw me washing him and I gave him a thumbs up but yeah I know what you're doing. Short while later, first side is poured, and they're starting to get the, the level on it. So, initially, they move it around, get rid of uh, any too much surface uh, water anywhere, anywhere that the, um, the gravel has piled a bit thicker, they move that around. As I say, and they sort of shift the water and have a good look at it and then start getting their true levels once they're happy that um, the spread is about right. Then they worry about the, the level and the surface more.
Okay, so it's poured and the primary level's done. And the guys are having a beer, so we're celebrating having got to toward the concrete stage. There is a little bit of troweling that they're still going to do. And I'm sure just by the little bit of water which is sort of still sort of sitting in some places, it suggests that there's, there's lows and highs. We are going to use ceramic tiles. So we'll do something with a bit of self-leveling cement or something prior to putting those in which will um, bring it up to a level surface for the, the tiles to be on. But that's cool. So that's two major milestones in the progress of the project. Uh, we had the roof go on which very quickly changed the whole appearance of the structure and now the concrete in a very very short period of time and it's changed it again it's it, it's hard to still recognize the structure as it was before so things are moving ahead they're taking shape very quickly and stay with us and you'll see it change even more in the next few videos considering that we have things like walls and whatever else we might happen to be putting into it, uh, the view, the appearance is going to change dramatically. So thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Uh, please leave any comments down below that you may have or any suggestions of what you think it might be. And come back and see us again. Please subscribe if you haven't already so that you can keep up with the build as it goes. And thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now.